for the Lucas Oil Nationals um, Team Seafoam. I'm here with Donnie, got my coffee. Um, the weather is very Brainerd-like. See the humidity here in my hair. Fun times. Um, we're about to get our first time hit. Um, and that's all I got for now. Here we go, time trial number one. He what? I was a little faster than but I you were in 84? Yeah. Okay. Which is fine. Yeah. I can slow it down, but there's a few people that were off more than the final. Yeah. yeah. What was your light? No, I, I did 21 up front and 84 at the end. That would have been fun for his first round. There's a lot of slow people. And yeah. A few unders, but yeah. 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 No, I was good. I saw Steve was pretty much around as fast as I was. So okay. We're on the same page. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I don't remember. I watched you, Matt, Steve, Danielle, and then I was like booking my way back, and then I saw Jeff, and I was like, oh, I got to stay for that too. So. I'm happy with it. Okay, good. Gonna put gas in and do it again. Let's do it again. Yeah. Thanks, Dan. Tell me about your first time trial. Well, the first thing I want to say is what would have happened if you would have lined up to me in that first round? How would that have worked out? Okay. All right. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Tell us what you think is gonna happen. Well, she is all saying she's gonna line up to, against me first round because I'm a duck or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. That in was, Jason's car. Yeah, so that was the first run with the throttle stop on the car. Kind of wild guess. Yeah. Went 1085, so. He also dialed me and I was slow. So it's his fault you were slow. What did you put in there? 65. Well, okay, and your light was a double O. Six. And your light was a double O. Nine. Would have been close. Hi, Matt. Hi. Is this your office? This is my office. <laughs> well organized. <laughs> Uh, it was okay. I put a new delay box in, so I don't know where my numbers are really. Uh, I was a little late on the 336 and then uh, 1094 4, so. Let's figure out what numbers are work best in the delay box. Okay, what was your light again? 36. Oh, okay. Not good. We can do some improving now. I think you were. I don't know what your dad was, but you might have been the worst this round. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, I, I missed it, right? I felt I missed it. Uh, we should have been a little faster, but all in all, I mean, I can't complain. It was on an 87.1. Thinking I was a little faster, but pretty solid for the first round. What was your time slip? Uh, hang on one second here. 180.2. 24. 287. 180. Chris, how was your run? Good. Tell us about it. 
Do you want me to give for the second time because AJ's been in here? So, I'm going to kill him. So, so Do you know this is my job? I know. But he told me, get the driver in interviews, there. do the content. You're all right. You're all right. What do you got going on? You know why it was fast though, right? Why? Because the vacuum there. pump's working. Oh. It wasn't working at the last. Time. Okay. Because I had no vacuum basically the last race. Yeah. Because I had a the panel wasn't sealed up good, and I got 25 inches of vacuum because it shouldn't have been that fast. But. <laughs> okay, we're up here for time trial or qualifying session number one for top sportsman for Steve. Super Street's right after Top Sportsman. So we got Steve running, hopefully first here, um, so he can get back and get in the car for Super Street because they've already called up Super Street. So it's kind of a, I don't know, uh, busy, hectic, you know, it's like normal for us. So hoping for a good pass. Steve got new wheelie bars or fixed the wheelie bars and got those on probably like an hour or so ago. Hopefully have a smooth, fast run you know, get the win again. We're defending champ for Steve is. Woo -woo. the track we had a little bit of smoke at the end so we're gonna go check things out coming I mean this this makes sense the other one didn't make any sense because with the, the timer the number in there the thing should have gone crazy fast it did so yeah and that's what I expected it to run right. I told you that 84 but I just don't like when you're 60 don't lose five one from the from the last time I was here, it moved four numbers. Yeah, but you 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 yeah, I won't, what? Won't, I'm doing my job. Mine, mine won't make a, a difference because I'm not changing the RPM. The only reason your 60 foot just changed is because we because we turned the RPM up. Record me. I think, I think we took took it so many times that it's probably hot. And One of the really starting line guys came up to me and he said. And you're the like, most important cool team member. Ran, said, yeah, I know. And he's like, you're the influencer, right? <laughs> Whatever. I guess I'm I'm known even, in these parts. Don't even think about it. Trust <laughs> it. You might buy the camera here just uh, taking some time to enjoy some lunch from the wheelie bar. Um, while we wait the stage, you land for Chris. You make a second set up. Chris out of the way too. I hear that helps your reaction time. You have to keep it all in perspective. The grease in the chicken moves up this reaction finger. Yes. Tell us about the run. Uh, it was good. 
good. Okay. I don't know. I don't know if I'm missing the tree a little bit over last weekend, but uh, last time you mean? Last two weeks ago at the divisional. That was like a month ago. That was two weeks ago, wasn't it? Where was it a month ago? <laughs> Three or four weeks ago. <laughs> so I was consistent, but I, I I haven't drained the numbers yet, right? Right. But I was thirty and twenty-four. So. What was your? Is it the same rate number for the? dragster as the Corvette for your perfect light? No. Do you know what your perfect light is in the dragster? I thought it was a 54, which is what I'm at, but I'm but I'm slow. You were 30 on the tree? 24 and 30 with 54 in there. So you're like at 24. Right, which is not on... I think I'm not hitting it, though. I, I think i got to mess with my idle a little bit. It's a little low. Were you trying to be 87? No, I was trying to be 91. I didn't touch the numbers. I thought it'd be on a 90, but no. Where did you run last time? 87. Oh, you left it? Yeah. I just left it. I'm trying to try this cheeseburger for you. Let me know how it tastes. Mm -hmm. That's really good. I bet it is. Oh, babe. I'm gonna just give me a second, though. <laughs> that is good. No ketchup or anything? No, nope, that's how I like it, straight up. Huh. Mustard, pickle, ketchup, please. So it's telling me a 221, 220 with an 8. So I had a 52 in it and I was 24 and I put a 54 in it and I was 30, so I was within 4 pounds. Okay. What are you going to do next time? If I get another time run, I'm going to take 15 numbers out. Or 20. I can see where I'm at. So. Yeah, I'd say 15 or 20. But it was good. It was a nice run. Okay. Great. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you. Hey, Donnie. Can you tell me about your run? Yeah. I was hit the tree. 007. I saw there was a triple zero. Can you speak zero. louder? There was a triple zero first pair. <laughs> so I took that off the table trying to get the buy. You think we're done? Boy, I hope we get another one. Yeah. You think we'll get one in? Yeah. So what'd you Steve's run? been at this a long time. His dad used to race, so I, yeah. I'll defer to him. Yeah. We're getting another one. It's not that late. Yeah, as long as the rain holds up. Yeah, no, I was. Be good. What'd you run again? Sorry. Uh, 92 on a ratio check, so I was trying to be on both sides there, so that worked out good. Perfect, and you're yeah. late. Seven. 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 James Bond. 007. 007. Way to be. Yeah, I, I'll take six of those. Yeah, that'd be nice. Steve, how was your Super Street run? Good, I think. Yeah? I was 13 on the three. I slowed it down just a little bit. Just mm -hmm. so I couldn't just leave it alone. I had to see what it was going to do. Yeah. It had some kind of ratio. I went 91. Lost 160 foot. So, yeah. It makes sense. Okay. That's promising. Yeah, I'm good either way if we get another round or not. Whatever. Okay. So, Sweet. Sweet. And then that other thing, I, I don't know. What I was like, did we talk about the top sportsman? Uh, we went about four feet and blew the tires off the thing. So. Uh, that stinks. Do we know why? New wheelie bars. They're longer. They're stiffer. I don't know if it's just a. It's a matter of. To find them that spot where they want to be. Uh, Except for the, the problem I'm scared of is it dead hooked right away initially and then unloaded when it hit the bar. So, like, I, I'd like to get wheel speed right away. And I'm tempted to just throw more power at it, but we couldn't make it down the track like that before, so I don't know. Sam's currently number six qualified, 815 under. When do we run again? Top Swiss Hopefully, get another one today? Yeah. We were supposed to still get two more. But, uh, get you up to oh. two. If it rains at all. That's How many happens. top sportsman cars are there this weekend? 19. So everybody gets in. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we can figure it out. Probably have two hours or something before we run again. Okay. Sweet. We'll one. All right.
about train wreck. We'll worry about that later. How like far right did, now. did you get like five feet down the track this time? I think we, we might have doubled it. Yeah. Eight? Yeah. Okay, eight feet. Yeah. And then uh, you hopped in uh, Nova and you were... I was 12, 12. 12. I was going to try to go 88 and then drop to 90. What'd you go again? But I went 93. It, I lost like two and a half to 60 foot, so... Oh. But yeah. Did you tell Danielle C? She was so concerned oh, about her yeah, 60 foot. Yeah, right. <laughs> Well, excuse you, I mean, bless you. What'd you think of that run? Um, it would be nice if my fiance would tell me his plan. I just looked up, saw he went slow, so I took a couple numbers out. So I probably would have been an 89, but whatever, 88 will work. Well, that's a good run to go off of. Communication is key, you should tell them you need walkie talkies um and you never told me about the last time um, so not this one but the last one number two i was 16 red and when uh, 83 uh, the plan was if my 60 foot came back i'd I ran an 82.9. Um, the plan was if my 60 foot came back, I'd be on the 83. We wanted to be on the quicker side of the 90. So we acted like my 60 foot uh, was slow to make sure that we would have a fast pass. And it came back. In fact, this next run here, I was double two and my 60 foot was exactly identical to that second run. So the car is pretty set up. Uh, Good. You were pretty concerned. I gotta figure out my lights, so I've been double nine, 16 red, and double two. So it's like, to cover the Throw away the 16. Yeah. You're doing it. You're doing fine. I think that we're gonna at least add five for first round. Good plan. Good job, sister. Beautiful wheels. Hi! I love the racetrack. And what's your name? And how old are you? Six. And what do you want to be when you grow up? A motorcycle driver. A motorcycle driver? That's a good profession. Right, Mom? <laughs> Hi, Scarlett. Hi, Henry. And there's Victor. <laughs> With Lila. Uh, thanks for your time, Mark. Bye. Looking for Donnie. I don't know if he ran this round or not. I missed him. I don't know how I missed him because I was up there. I was sitting, waiting for the car. Okay. Let's go find Donnie and get some answers. What was your run? You were, you ran at 83? 86. I was looking at your slip and I don't know how to read it. I mean, I, I know how to read the ET in the uh, reaction time, but I don't know what you were on. Well, I ran it out. What were you dialing? For. What were you hoping to run? 87? So you're right on? A uh, few fell off and then, and then I was 21. I was 7 the time before and left and I was 21. It would be nice if they were. A little closer, yeah. Alright, and so we're done for the day? Yeah, except for now i got to watch this kid. He wants to uh, put the car away. And... Your helper? <laughs> Round three, super gas. Thank you. Just the guy I was looking for. Howdy. Okay, so the last time I talked to you was this morning about your first time trial, and there was room for improvement. Uh, and I will say, from my memory, you did improve the second round. I did. I was. 13 on the tree and I was 1093 uh, which was a decent improvement mm -hmm. and now pause I have to tell you that I have a confession I oh. missed your oh. third run <laughs> I missed Donnie too Ooh. but you were the first pair yeah, I heard so I like to get out there quick Normally, yeah, I've got a lot yeah. going on yeah how many cars are we watching like a hundred eight eight plus a few yeah yeah so my second run, I rolled 10 out of the box to go 8 thou red. Your third, that was your third run? Yeah, that was my third one, but I was 1090 with a 6. So oh. I think the car, I got the car pretty well figured out now with the new box. I think my, I know where my delay is supposed to be done. So I think I'm pretty much ready for the first round. Awesome. Yeah. That's a great report. Thank you. Thanks for your time.
<laughs> so there's been some drama today apparently over at the Cheney Pits. They you know they don't park by us, they're cool. <clears throat> they park by themselves. We've got a big family here. They do. Yeah. They got a few a few people just kinda like us, but um, and kids, so they like to be off in the, the woods where the kids are safe. Where kids are less likely to be run over. Yeah. Kind of yeah. Okay, so when did you got a flat tire yeah, on the Camaro? I was on my way back from the second run and the car was pulling one way, so I'm like, it just doesn't feel right. So I pulled over and asked somebody, I'm like, hey, is one of them tires flat? They're like, oh, oh great. <laughs> so uh, I was kind of stuck there because I didn't want to drive on it, wreck the rim. So I called Amy and then she ran and got an air tank. She brought it. We put it up and I, as soon as we were putting air in it, you could hear it hissing out. So I'm like, you take the air tank, I'm going to go fast. All right. Yeah. So we got it back. I uh, pulled the wheel off, went over to Hoosier. They had a tire like ready to go. Oh. In like 20 minutes, I had a tire back on the car ready for the third one. So. Perfect. What was wrong with that one? Did it have? A, did you run over something? It must have. There's a big hole in it. Okay. Yeah, like unrepairable. So. Interesting. Yeah. And then um, Jeff's running the Buick, and yeah. that his second run, I think it was. He like got water all the way down the track. He lost a frost plug. Yeah. So. Really. Yeah. Weird deal. I don't know. It doesn't happen very often, but it dumped all of the water on the track. Yep. Thank goodness it didn't cause him to spin out or anything. And everybody was waving him down like, stop, stop. He's like, he had no idea because it never, never Yeah, we out. saw that they were checking the track after his run. And then so we were like, we'll go get him. Something's yeah. wrong. Yeah. And he just was already at the ticket booth. And he was like, yeah, I heard. Way he went. <laughs> <laughs> and so then I had never heard the outcome. But he didn't make his third pass then? Nope. So he repaired it. He's got some... Uh, some epoxy it's gonna set overnight make sure it doesn't come out again so after in the morning it should be already dried and ready to go so he, just, he says he doesn't need three runs jeff's jeff doesn't need three runs he's good he's, he's good ready. all right well thanks for that update yep. all right chris what are we doing we're up here for top sportsman third qualifying run for steve we're hoping he makes a good pass down we've been working on the four link and the wheelie bars and stuff since we broke them and had the motor brush in We've been struggling in the car down, but we're hoping Steve made the right adjustments right now, and uh, we really need this run, so we'll see what happens, and hopefully we get on the track, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Great job. 